What's up guys? Today we're at Cubs Crawfish in Pensacola, Florida. We're gonna go in, try some of their amazing crawfish, talk to some of the customers, and see why they always come back to this awesome place. Let's go check out some Cubs Crawfish. What's up guys, I'm here with Clay, the owner of Cubs Crawfish, and we're gonna kinda let him explain to us the process of getting the crawfish here, and once they got it here, kinda what they do with it. Uh, well, I, I wake up every morning, uh, I get in a truck, and I drive to Pascagoula, Mississippi. Uh, that's where I meet the truck that comes from Louisiana. We load them up uh, and ice them up and everything. This is just an insulated box. It keeps them nice and cool when you, when you put ice on them. Once we get here to Pensacola, we, we pull up to the shop, uh, we start unloading crawfish. I have some customers that buy from me uh, that also own seafood markets. Uh, so they, they get here early in the morning and I'll unload uh, uh, 20 or 30 or 40 sacks, however many they need. Uh, and uh, the rest of them come in here to my uh, boiler room. So what you got here, Bo? Uh, we put our crawfish on a culling table. Uh, it's where we clean and sort through all our crawfish. Because um, you want to clean them really good, uh, or some people call it uh, purging their crawfish. Uh, purge means to clean. Uh, we don't use a salt water purge. We just rinse them off really good with, with uh, fresh water. Uh, pick all the dead crawfish out, uh, sticks and mud. Anything that you don't want to eat, we'll, we'll take out of the crawfish. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, sorting through them and uh, rinsing them off real good. Uh, we put them in a basket. Uh, so these are these crawfish are clean. Uh, look good. Nice looking crawfish there. Uh, watch your fingers. Uh, I had a crawfish pinch me the other day. I swear it could have snapped through a pencil. It hurt bad. I went made all kind of funny sounds. <laughs> yeah. You know, growing up in Louisiana, we used to call this the uh, the chicken of the ditch. And I remember being like little, like camping out, dude, and we'll get like crawfish and try to cook them over like a fire. It was nasty and muddy, and that's what's wrong with me. So we'll fast forward a little bit since we're not cooking right this minute. Uh, this is the pot that we use uh, on the weekends to keep up because uh, we were so busy. I can cook up to about 400 in this pot. It's a nice pot. Uh, I've been using it for a long time. Uh, we got a small pot back here. Uh, this is my Cadillac cook pot. Uh, what they call a, a flip pot. Uh, the, uh, the basket is on a hinge and the lid to the pot uh, sets in your cooler and you pick the basket up and it slides into the, uh, into the cooler. So, works good, works good. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm getting so hungry just watching this. Full ice chest, man. Uh, some scrumptious Cubs crawfish. All right, for a um, So what's the process now? Uh, we bring them up front and uh, the girls get to work uh, serving customers. All right, guys, we're Miss Delaney, Clay's wife, who is actually the real boss of Cubs Crawfish. And uh, we kind of want to know, we got to go with Clay, see how y'all go to, to Pas, uh, Pas Christian or Pascagoula, excuse me, and get the crawfish, get it here, cook it, all that stuff. Now, this is in front of the house. Kind of what's the, what's the process up here? All right, so if you'd like, you come in. And if it's for here, you have a seat. Um, if we're busy, sign in. If not, uh, you just... Make yourself at home, first come, first serve. Uh, you would want to come to the counter for any to-go's or live crawfish. Um, that's where we do all the scooping and all the vegetables and everything. Can you bring me back there and show you the vegetables you all have? So we got some uh, potatoes, corn. Sausage and mushrooms. Um, and we do have more than just crawfish. Jambalaya, red beans, uh, crawfish etouffee, and our famous seafood bisque. Um, but yeah. Awesome. 
Do you ever have anybody come here and just get the vegetables? Yes, we have a lot of people that just get the vegetables. We have a lot of people that just get banana pudding. Yes, we have banana pudding. Banana pudding, Mississippi mud pie, um, and uh, key lime pie as well. So for all you vegans out there who don't want to eat meat, you can get awesome vegetables with still that Cajun flair to it. Love some frog bone, uh, but all these spices, what, what's this for? Just people want to come in and grab it, try to cook it on their own? It's, uh, you can pick up your live crawfish and all the spices that you need. And you can't go wrong with an old fashioned crab bowl, which growing up in Louisiana, we kind of wash our, brush our teeth with it. It's like a beverage after the crawfish comes out. All that good stuff. Well, you know what? Um, I know this. I've heard about some stuff y'all starting to sell here. Some kind of a, a hand scrub. It's y'all's own like cub hand scrub. Is that true? Cub scrub. Cub scrub. And I make it. You make the cub scrub. Yep, I do. And uh, can you show us a little bit about the cub scrub? Cub scrub. There's only one place you can get it. Walmart. I mean, Cubs crawfish. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this. So it is a salt scrub. So when you get your hands dirty at Cubs Crawfish, you come to our lovely hand washing sink, and then you can clean your hands, and it'll take all the smell and gunk away. And people can buy this and take it home with them and use it if they're, like, working in the garden or mechanics. I'm sure they're going to get all If it gets crawfish out, they probably get a lot of stuff out, right? Oh, yes. Just don't eat it. Just don't eat it. <laughs> all right. Well, I won't eat it unless it smells like crawfish. It smells like soap. <laughs> okay, well, it smells like soap. So uh, when you're in here eating some awesome crawfish, why don't you go ahead and take you home some cub scrub, too.